Hey guys, it's Lux here, back with our blind playthrough of Septericor, Legacy of the Creator. One of the kitties is right there. Last time we left off, we got, um, started going into the catacombs and got down here and saw there's going to be another one of those vampire dudes. So what I'm going to, that might be him. What I'm gonna do is first, and you thought the bread would not, oh, that's fine. She was like four, three eighty or something. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna see how bad this dude is. I might go in. I might cast observe on him just so we know. I don't necessarily want to lead with, you know, summon Gemma, but um, but we'll see. I, you know, I was thinking about it, and we might do some, or uh, we might do cast fire. Might just start casting fire with Grub on everyone. Okay, so first thing is you. You observe him. And then we'll see. We'll decide what to do. Beast. 600. Okay. That's not fire. That's kind of like what the skulls do. Okay, that hurts. That hurts a lot. We might do... Let's just try fire on him. Three twelve. okay. <clears throat> 128. 175, so he does do fire. Right on. So that could have been worse. And he's about as much as experience as uh, the other guy. Let's see. Now uh, we can we can hold off a little bit. Maybe not as bad. I don't think I can go over that. Can I? No. Uh, not as bad, probably, as the other vampires. I mean, it's a beast. It's not a vampire, after all. So, still has some really difficult attacks. <clears throat> Excuse me. I assume this is going to open that gate. The bridge thing, yeah. Did we cross that? Oh, that's... Okay. Okay. Well, we needed to go... Ah, oh, there's the vampires. All right, so now... Right, okay. Um, huh. I mean, I guess let's run back. Not quite sure what the... I mean, we'll we'll run back and then we'll go down. I think we can go down those uh, those steps. And then we'll see. Like where? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so. I mean, it looks like all we can do is explore this little area now. Um, it's closed off. Even though the one bridge that was right here opened, it looks like there's not a lot we can do. And more of these dudes. A switch. Not sure what the switch is for. Interesting. You can sort of, like, stealth behind the dude. Does he just keep walking in this pattern? And if he doesn't see you, then... You're good? Well, we're gonna fight him anyway. May God have mercy on our souls. Okay. Well. Um. 
Well, let's do fire all, I suppose. It's another 10. So that's fine. You know, because it's about the same price for casting fire on each of them. It'd be really nice though if he summons more zombies. Ooh, that wasn't super great. Um, that works though. That works for me. Uh-oh. Okay, who are we attacking? Everyone? This is like summoning demons or something. Ouch! Well, in that case... Three thousand. Are the zombies really worth that much? They must be. Give you that. This is about two hundred. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that because how much is that? About one thirty. We'll we'll that'll be fine. Um, I'm gonna explore. I think I'm gonna head back up. I'm gonna go around because I want to know like why, what the switch does. I guess we could turn it. I guess we could hit it again. You know? Just why we'd wanna... Huh. So right now, we need to... I mean, presumably you have to hit the switch. Because <clears throat> at least as far as this goes, you can't go anywhere. Down here, I mean. Um, but up here... You can go basically all over the top. Right? There's those three large sections, and then there's the stairs down on the other side. And that leads to the lower left exit. So then the question is, what does the switch do? Um, because we still can't get to the middle and the lower right. I guess let's hit the switch. We'll see what happens. You know, we'll see what it changes. Like, I'm pretty sure I hit all those or, you know, checked them, but... Maybe I should have saved before I just randomly hit the switch. Oh, does it change all these again? Okay, so what it does is it opens up the whole bottom, but then cuts off everything on the top. So let's hit the switch again. We'll head back up there, kill everything, and then um, honestly probably come back down here and hit the switch. You know? I mean, there's Jack. I just made eye contact. That's no good. Look away. Look away. Um... Yeah, I honestly don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do here, or what we should do. Presumably, we need to go to the lower right, because that's not accessible at the moment. There's Jack. Um, because we can't get to the lower right. Because we can't get to the lower right. <laughs> um, because we can't get there. Presumably, that means that's the way to go. Um, 
And then there's like this little, like just above the lower right thing, there's like a little, little passageway that goes up. And I don't know what that is. You are so cute, my little Jack baby. You're so cute. Would you like to get into my lap? Or do you just want to... Here, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He just wants to stand right next to the mouse and, and rub his face against my hands. And not get into the lap like a good boy. I mean, he's, he's not a dog. Kind of. Maybe in spirit. Maybe in spirit, my little Jack. Um, yeah, so I guess I guess the only thing is let's go up and then we'll just start killing everything. That's... <laughs> As self-elected murder hobos, that's what we do. Right, and the whole point of us coming in here is so we can find the... Uh, the research lab. So let's, uh, yeah. Um, let us save. Okay. And how are we doing on health? Health is... I, health is... Eh, it's alright. A nap is what I would need. But it's too late. It is too late. Oh, and you again. Um, yeah, do I want bread? Oh, no, no, no. We need a couple of those. We can even do a little bit of... Oh, because Grub wasn't selected. Is that the reason? Um, yeah, so about 130. That works. I mean, she's full, so I don't know officially how much he actually heals now, but what is his core? 50. He probably heals about 150. So, okay. Hmm. And there's this dude in the middle that we may as well fight. Should I, should I taser him? See, this is a situation where fire all would be good. Uh-oh, what is he doing? Okay, he's doing that thing. That's... As long as he doesn't do it again, it's okay. Uh-oh. Alright, fire... All... Burn them all. I can't smell good. It really can't smell great. And maybe she should be burning him too. You know, because she's decent at magic. What, um... Okay, so we do fire all what if we were to do a summon that adds an extra 20 hmm. Hmm. I mean this way we get more of these dudes and I think I assume that those Counts as now six zombies. You know, Maya got a level. As opposed to, um. Um. And as opposed to just three zombies. You know what I'm saying, Jack? It's hard to say. Still, we're getting almost 5,000 a pop. 
I mean, you know, from those guys. And they're dangerous, though. So that's something to be aware of. Um, all right, well, this area now. Um, do we want to just go to the next area? Let's explore this one first. We'll do it. Do it in zones, as it were. Yep, I see the... I saw the red panther thingy. And he sees me! Right, Jack? That's right. Um, these dudes take a lot of damage. So let's do... Let's just do fire. Is it 10? Is it 10 that we do? 10 damage? It's 15. Okay, I mean, that works. It's definitely the way to do it. Because I was, you know, used one of these. A little bit more than one, actually. Is it worth it? I don't know. If we start running out, I guess we can always... Um, you know, change it. So, the only reason we'd maybe keep these bridges is so we could go over here. Let's save, because I remember those guys. I remember... I remember those guys, Jack. I don't know if you do, but I do. These are the guys we want to... Oh, and there's treasure. Well, give me the treasure. Titan charm, as opposed to... What? I remember the Titan ring. Wow, that's a lot of speed. Should I give that to Maya? I mean... I mean, Jesus. Because you have the Restore Ring, which defends from all status change, but doesn't actually seem to work, as far as I could tell. This will boost her speed by six. And her hit points by 24. Like, that's a lot. And speed is everything, especially when you, you know, could just use fire magic and obliterate your enemies. I guess I'm not in a rum mood. That is way too sweet. All right, let's add add the Titan Charm. If all of a sudden she starts getting hit by other stuff, then we'll know, but... Jesus, no wonder they're so fast. 87, look at that. All right, you two. Um, Gemma, I guess? Yes, that does hurt. Please do not do anything like that. All right. Okay, summon Gemma on all. <clears throat> yeah, I love the magic system in this game. That should be enough to kill them. Yep, 834. Alright. <sighs> yeah, strange. We get more... Yeah, I'd say that's worth it coming over here. Now we can go back down and... Yeah, that's fine.
go back down and um, flip the switch to retract the bridges. That way we gain access to most of the rest of the level. And, oh, we gotta go back up. Because I wanna check all these coffins and everything. For goodies. We have to loot the corpses of uh, the dead. Kind of awful if you think about it, but whatever. Man, this area is so weird. All right. And then what will that do? Um, well, I mean, it'll give us it'll get us closer to the lower right, and it's it seems likely that that little divot that will probably connect the two. Um, you probably need explosives to get through there. So, so then the question is, what's the lower left? What is down there? I don't know. We'll find out. I'm sealed in. I don't know, you know, it's weird, like, thinking about the rum. Because that's, like, one of my favorite rums, but, um, like, sometimes I'm in a real rum mood, but right now, like, I poured myself that, I'm like, man, this should be good, I haven't had it in a while, and I drink a little bit, I'm just like, it's too sweet. I don't want sweetness right now. Maybe it's because I just had, like, carbs, you know? Maybe my body, because I had ramen, which I shouldn't do. I'm basically cheating on my diet, but I'll be good. You know, I'm on call tomorrow, so no alcohol and usually no... Uh, you know, when I do that, no... Uh, oh, there's a coffin. Horror sphere. Right, well, there you go. Extra magic. Oh no. Um, but yeah, since I'm supposed to be not on call Friday, you know, if I have carbs tomorrow, that means that I can't drink on Friday. So I'm usually pretty good about not, even though I cheat occasionally. Or I have, I have been lately, because I got, like, some of the four packs of ramen. The the decent ramen, not the shitty, you know, 25-cent top ramen. Like, the actual decent stuff with, like... Well, I mean, what they say is decent. It's like, oh, it's got bone broth and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, maybe. Oh, what's up, skeletons? Oh, lots of skeletons, right on. We're gonna do fire all. And especially now that I know that fire is 15. Oh yeah, I was thinking it was 10. So the fact that it is... Um, so that would be 60, but because we're gonna do fire all, it'll be... Twenty-five? It's a heck of a bargain. <coughs> I guess there is something worth, um, giving you the all card later, because you get used to You know, you get used to doing it individually. I heard something move. Okay, why... Why come in here? Was this another part of the map that was changed? 
It's locked. Ah. This is gonna be... Wait, wait, wait. No. So we're gonna come out this way then, probably. Right, so... We're probably gonna go into the security, uh, through this lower left thing. We're probably gonna go into the research labs from there and then wrap around and leave this way and get some sort of key to leave. Um, I mean, maybe. No guarantees, of course, but... Uh... Larva. Well, we'll we're gonna cast fire on them all anyway, so it's fine. <clears throat> but yeah, so I got those ramen things. I've been cheating on my diet lately, but... Not as much as you might think. I've been fairly good. But it's that... It's that little thing, you know? You make it a habit, and that's... When you start getting into trouble. <clears throat> you start looking for excuses, and then you're like, Ah, just a little bit. And a little bit here, a little bit there, and then... It becomes a little everywhere, you know? When I move the chair, I have to make sure the kitties aren't... Sometimes they like to sit right under the chair, and I don't want to roll over them. That would be bad. So, but the worst thing is I expect to get put on to call on Friday because... The person on Friday is out. And I don't think they realize that she is on that day. Unless, I, you know, it's possible they changed it and I didn't... You know, someone else picked it up. I'm expecting to be... Essentially the only one... That's able to do it, which sucks. Uh, do I need more... There we go. Aha. It kind of works out that they're matched together because the grubs have to move close to you to, uh, to attack as well. And honestly, that also is a fairly neat mechanic. <clears throat> you know? Some enemies, they need to move in close to you, and then once they're there, they just start whacking on you. It's not that they're super dangerous. I don't think the grubs do a whole lot of damage. I don't know about the zombies. They're a lot stronger than they used to be, so it's, it's possible. Man, again, I feel like we're... chewing through the... The core runes here. Okay. Hmm. Not as much stuff as I would have expected. <clears throat> Excuse me. The guide was like, oh, the coffins and stuff are loaded with treasure. It's like, I found a few things, but not like... Not like a lot. Don't worry, I'm gonna fight that thing soon enough. And then you too shall know the fire. Are you gonna... Oh. I was like, are you summoning enemies? What's about to happen? Must you? Oh, well. Yeah, that's... That definitely changes things a little bit. anticipating... There we go.
it's no longer when I right click to change it back to the normal cursor, it's not doing that very much anymore. So a little bit concerned it's going to crash the game again here in a bit. That's why I'm saving a little, you know, a little bit more frequently. I will say I like the the rum feels really warm though. You know? Uh, it's entirely possible I'm an alcoholic. That's <laughs> But I don't drink when I'm on call, so it's like it's one of those things it's like, am I though? You know, because I enjoy it, but Okay. A lot more different. Is this... What is going on here? Is this more catacombs? Like, what are we looking at? Strange. Let's save again. And we're all at about 50,000 to gain another level. Look at that. Almost a million experience. That's crazy. It's crazy talk. That boy's crazy. Put him in one of the crazy buckets. All right, how do we want to explore this? Well, run, one room at a time, of course. Um, Grubs. Watch out, Aram. Oh, they saw me. I wonder if the skeletons are actually different colors. I think they are, because the lighting here seems fairly even. Are you two? You're about to start getting hit. Grub, it's time! I mean, Aram would probably be fine. Maybe we should try that next time. I just know for a fact that Grub does more damage, so... You know. Oh, there. I didn't mean to click on that, but that works. I meant to run, not to. We'll take it. Not accidentally pick something out of the bones. Bones. Um. Well, let's. Uh... let's do the left ones, I suppose. I don't know. Let's try and remember which ones we've been to and which we haven't. Oh, he saw me. I was going to use another. Oh, you're standing on an open pit, guy. What are you going to do? What are you going to do now? Should we do it with Aram? Uh, why not? Let's try it. It's definitely less. It's... Yeah, see, he's... They're still... It's... About, doing about 300 instead of 360, so... You know... Grub's able to kill them all in one go. Aram is not. So that's, you know... It's a difference. Oh, I can walk across that. It's just a texture. That's a bit um, unexpected. Anything? Nope. And I would, I would probably expect 
one fight per room, give or take. I don't know. I don't. I mean, I don't know what's up with the random doors. Potion, yay! And the collection of skulls on the wall it seems a bit tacky for a mausoleum. Not a mausoleum, I guess, but a, a crypt where, you know, it's supposed to be a bit more respectful of the dead. All right, Grub. And see, this dude's green. Oh, man. Why'd you have to do speed? I will take the miss, though. Like I'm selecting Grub and they're they're like, no, you can't do that. I gotta take my turn first. It's like, come on, man. Come on, man. Ooh, these are tougher. Well, let's just attack with Yep, so they are different. Don't give as much experience, though, I don't think. Which is annoying. It's like, you should you should give me more experience if you're tougher. Do I want to go... That's fine. We'll just follow. We'll just follow the path. We'll hit them in due time. Yep. Another room. Another fight. What's with all the moving, like random stone that I hear randomly moving? Do I want to fight these guys? I mean, I guess. You know, I'm sure... Oh, that's actually really unexpected. I thought there would be a couple zombies popping up as well, but... In that case, maybe we just attack them like normal? It's a bit of a novel concept. Come on, Maya. Now Aram is going to take damage, probably. Or not. I'll, I'll take the core relic, though. I don't mind all the free stuff. It's probably not a bad idea to use some of these, also. Okay, first... One of you. Second, uh, maybe some bread. Yep. Oh. Time's up. Is he gonna? All right. Come on, grub. Hurry. What's with the random damage being taken or not taken? Okay, that's acceptable. Probably should have had her cast fire as well, but let's hope he... Ow! Ow. Let's hope he, um... You know, summons more dudes. Works for me. Oh, no. There we go. Fire all 
Hit the zombies. <sighs> Give me like 6,000. Nice. Roots, core relics, heck to the yes. All right, let's check out this area. I don't think we did it already. I don't think we looked at all the walls and stuff, but maybe. Nope, looks... Doesn't look familiar. Mm hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-hmm. We'll just keep using these because I don't want to get surprised. You know? Do not want to get surprised. Ha, ah, treasure. Oh, okay. Ah. Zombies. Sprout like weeds. Come on, grab. All right. Yeah. Easy enough, though, to attack this dude. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ah. So do I have to use that on that door? The one that I couldn't get through? I guess that would make sense, but considering the control panel is on not the side that I was on, it was on the opposite side, then it makes me wonder, like... I mean, I guess you just used it on the door itself. It just seems weird, like the control panel's over there, right? It's like the whole, the door is locked from this side sort of thing. Oh, one of the big dudes. Okay. Well, let's save again. It's been a while since we've saved, so let's just do that. Then we'll fight the dude. That hurts a lot. Um... We'll heal, because Grub's gonna do the casting, so... It's not as important. Wait, is he, um... Should I wait? Okay. Because since he was a little bit off. Okay. That's good. Oh, he didn't die. He's got to be close then. You 
know, because the first thing he usually does is summon. So I was like... Like, his, his rhythm is probably off. Maybe that was a bad way of explaining it. I'm not quite sure. Uh, core Relic plus 75. That should be okay, right? Yeah, works for me. And I think we did... Did we check all these? I'm pretty sure we did. Ah, there's like something in my ear. You know, like, like something itches in your ear and you just want to scratch it and all that stuff. All right, we'll wait on those two middle ones. We'll do the whole thing first and then we'll hit those up. Grubs. Eat your grubs, Sasquatch. <laughs> Invader Zim was such a weird... You know... Cartoon. I loved it, though. Makes me sad that the movie wasn't better, but... I mean, you know, after 20 years... Yeah. Yeah, 20 years. After 20 years... It was nice to at least get at least get more Invader Zim, even if it wasn't even if it wasn't the best. You know what I mean? You could probably hit those two. We're gonna try it. Oh. Almost Aram. Oh, you didn't kill that guy, huh? Fair enough. Okay, one left. Whoa, that's gross. Worm casts Worm Storm. Basically true. I think I checked all these, but I'm losing my mind. Oh, yeah, that's right. We did. Yeah, because we went down here and we kind of looked around and. All right. Yeah, and it's looking like we don't really have another option except to go back out. Um, how are we doing on... Oh, well, it doesn't matter now. Ooh, and they start pretty close. Pretty close to us. At least they're wearing shorts. Oh, he's even closer. All right. There's this one game, Fear and Hunger, which I probably should pick up, honestly, because it's hard. Um, but uh, apparently it's more like trial and error. Like you have to do one specific thing with you know, the enemies, or and it's possible all the encounters are in the same place, so you just sort of eventually have to memorize what to do, and you'll be successful. Um, which is kind of... Eh. You know, but it, the concept sounded interesting, because it's like you can... Um, see, this one you can't walk over. They said it was a game where you... Okay. Where you can attack individual body parts. And... 
Um, but they can do the enemies can do the same to you, and it's like permanent, so they can gouge out your eyes and stuff. And so it's like, I you know, it sounds interesting, but it's probably also incredibly frustrating. Psych charm. There was, yeah, psych, uh, eh. It's like, okay, so it raises your core, which is good. And it might probably, maybe, maybe influences the amount of magic damage you do. But again, it's really kind of hard to know exactly what things do. It doesn't specifically tell you. It does in the manual, but it doesn't seem like it's actually correct. So, you know, because in the manual it was like, oh, power is your, your spell damage. And it's like, no, that, that's not how that works. Unless it's, I mean, maybe power contributes, at least for healing, it just seems to be three times the, the core stat. All right. Oh, there is something in there, but well, let's fight these guys first because that's what we've got to, to do. We're about out of time for this episode. We'll finish this floor up and then go back up into the previous area and probably save and stop there. Yay. All right. So we've explored every room except for the two. The two center rooms. We've gotten some decent stuff. I was going to say, there, there has to be more enemies than just these two guys. And I was right. for the moment it's kind of useless I'm not really doing anything with it except just collecting it to be fair I'm spending it on consumables which I'm definitely using all right one more room to check to fight the enemies first I guess Um, should I? And yeah, we'll just see if we can cast the spells. Provided Grub gets there fast enough. Ironic, Grub fighting Grubs, but I've probably said that before. Okay, let's hope. Green is good, so... It would be bad if I hit Maya, because then I'd attack all of us, and that would be not good. All right.
What is that that I'm hearing? Like some kind of angry... There's like a roar, but not. All right. We're done with this map. We got the red key. Well, and to be fair, it makes sense that they had it on the opposite side because that way we could see it, right? If it was, you know, it's it's over here and you're like, oh, there's a red flashing panel. And that's how you know. It's like, this is the red locked door as opposed to it not being there or it hidden behind the wall or something. You know what I mean? Then you're just like, oh, it's a locked. I mean, but then again, it's like, it's a locked door. That's the only other place I can go. So, um, let's, you eat some bread. You both are good. And then use, I guess, one of these, maybe two, two works. Then we will save. And that will be it for today. Well, thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, the one kitty. Uh, don't know where the other kitty is, but what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's, um, I've never watched any of her content before, but I watched this one episode by Brittany Venti about, uh, Kevin Samuels. And just, um, basically she accused him of being a fraud, which presumably he is, but, um, I mean, that was kind of, like, the limited, like, I just googled his name and kind of read, there was a couple articles about him that looked like they were just paid stuff for search engine optimization and I'm like you know seems seems fake that said though it's not about you could say something and you know if you're talking about money and you have all this experience in money then what you're saying goes then your experience goes to your credibility you can't just say someone's on TV and someone looks nice or because they have a lot of money, it doesn't mean they're right. You know, it's not about the person. We do, we do interpret authority and we do ter interpret, um, you know, people on the news and we interpret, uh, someone looking nice as knowing what they're talking about. Um, but we shouldn't. We should instead look at the message itself. And so even though she brought up all this stuff, it's like, yes, those are... It's all true, but what he says... Like, apparently he gives relationship advice, even though he's married, or been married and divorced a couple times. And it's like, okay, maybe don't trust that, but you can still listen to it and think about it and judge for for yourself and if it's if it sounds like good advice maybe put it into practice you know don't just don't just believe or automatically discard something someone says because of because of outside things it's it's about the idea separate the person from the idea and then evaluate the idea on its own merits, right? So, but it was an interesting video. And now I'm being recommended Brittany Venti stuff. So, I, I mean, I guess that's fine. Um, good video. And it got me some uh, some interesting things to think about. So that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully you guys are just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.